Hi and welcome to SL Engineering Academy. From today onwards, we are starting a new practical video session focused on electrical circuits. In our first practical video, we are talking about magnetic contactor and providing you with a complete understanding of magnetic contactor and their accessories. Alright, let's get started. This is the magnetic contactor we are discussing today. And here we have an additional contact block that attached to the contactor. As you can see, these two components fit together like this. To remove the additional contact block, simply press this part and slide upwards from the magnetic contact. Alright, now let's talk about the contact terminals of the magnetic contactor. These are the main contact terminals. At the top we have terminals 1, 3 and 5. At the bottom terminals 2, 4 and 6. Terminals 13, 14 are normally open auxiliary contacts. This means they are not internally connected when the contactor is de-energized. Once the contactor is energized, these contacts close and become internally connected. Similarly, the main contact terminals 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 6 also function as normally open contacts. They close only when the magnetic contactor is energized. Now let's take a look at the terminals of the contactor coil. The coil terminals are labeled A1 and A2. In this contactor, this is the A1 and A2 terminals. This is the second A2 terminal. As you can see, in this particular contactor, there are two A2 terminals available. You can understand these terminal connections more clearly by referring to this diagram of the magnetic contactor. This sketch shows the contactor in a de-energized state and without any additional contact blocks attached. As per the, this sketch, you can see these all four terminal connections are not internally connected when the magnetic contactor is de-energized. Alright, now I will show you practically the terminal co internal connections of the contactor in a de-energized state. Here we have a test lamp which we will use to check the continuity of the conductor. Let me show you how it works. First of all, plug the test lamp plug top into the socket outlet and switch on. As you can see, when we connect these two probes, the bulb lights up. I will show you this by using conductor. If the conductor is internally connected, then we place the two probes on either side of it the bulb will lights up. If the conductor is not connected internally, the bulb will remain off. First, we will check the main contact terminals of the magnetic contactor in de-energized state. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, 6 are the main contact terminals. As per the diagram, you can see these main contact terminals are not internally connected. We will check this by using test lamp. As you can see, when checking the terminals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 13, 14 bulb remains off. That means those terminals Connections are internally disconnected when the contactor is in de-energized state. Alright, 
Now let's check the internal connections of the magnetic contact terminals in an energized state. Here is the diagram of the magnetic contactor. As you can see, all the relevant terminals are internally connected when the contactor is energized. This confirms that these are normally open contacts that close upon energizing. Now I will demonstrate this practically. First, I will connect the live and neutral wires to the A1 and A2 terminals of the coil. Then I will power it on. Alright, the contactor is now energized. Let's check the main contact terminals. As you can see, when checking the terminals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and the auxiliary terminals 13, 14, bulb lights up. That means those terminals are now internally connected while the contactor is in the energized state. Alright, now let's take a closer look at the auxiliary contact terminals on the additional contact block. These are the terminals. On the top side we have terminals 53, 61, 71 and 83. On the bottom side we have 54, 62, 72 and 84 terminals. Ok, let's go through these terminal pairs one by one. Here is the diagram of the additional contact block. When considering terminals 53 and 54, these are normally open auxiliary contacts. As we explained earlier, these terminals are not internally connected when the contactor is de-energized. Once the contactor is energized, these contacts close and become internally connected. Terminals 61 and 62 are normally close auxiliary contacts. They are internally connected when the contactor is de-energized state and they open once the contactor is energized breaking the internal connection. Terminals 71 and 72 are also normally closed auxiliary contacts. They function exactly the same as terminals 61 and 62. That means terminals are connected when de-energized and disconnected when energized. Terminals 83 and 84 are normally open auxiliary contacts and they work just like terminals 53 and 54. That means open when de-energized and closed when energized. Alright, here is the magnetic contactor in de-energized state and also this is the additional contact block. Now I will attach the additional contact block to the magnetic contactor.
Here is the diagram showing the setup after attaching the additional contact block. You can see pink color highlighted terminals are the main contact terminals and auxiliary contact terminal of the magnetic contactor. The green color highlighted contact terminals are the additional contact block terminals. And this is the coil of the magnetic contactor. Next, we will practically check the internal connections of the additional contact block while the contactor is in a de-energized state. Let's test each terminal pair using the test lamp. Terminal 53 and 54. The test lamp is off, which means these terminals are internally disconnected as per the diagram. Next, I will check the 61 and 62 terminal connection. The test lamp is on, indicating they are internally connected as per the diagram shows. Then I will check the terminal 71 and 72. Again the test lamp is on. So these are also internally connected as per the diagram. Then check the 83 and 84 terminal. The test lamp is off, showing that these terminals are internally disconnected as per the diagram. Alright, now for the final step. We will check the additional contact block internal connection when the magnetic contactor is in energized state. I am going to energize the magnetic contactor with the additional contact block attached. I will connect the live and neutral wires to the A1 and A2 terminals of the contactor coil. Then I will power it on. Alright, the contactor is now energized. Now let's test each terminal pair using the test lamp. First, I will check the terminal 53 and 54. The test lamp is on, which means these terminals are internally connected as per the diagram. Then I will check the Terminal 61 and 62. The test lamp is off, indicating they are internally disconnected as per the diagram. Then I will check the terminal 71 and 72. Again, the test lamp is off. So these terminals are also internally disconnected as per the diagram. Finally, I will check the terminal 83 and 84. The test lamp is on, showing 
these terminals are internally connected as per the diagram all right i hope you now have a clear understanding about magnetic conductor and how they work that brings us to the end of this video if you found it helpful don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more practical and detailed tutorials like this one thanks for watching and see you in the next video